What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna be checking out two Promo Joe videos on his Promo Joey channel. Shout out to Promo Joe, always making some dope videos, wrestling related uh, content. The videos are usually hilarious, and I appreciate him for always, uh, not always, but he's shown me in a few of them. Uh, and I appreciate that. So the first one we're going to check out is Justice for Cody. And then the next one we're going to check out is Rocky Sucks. We want Cody. This should be very interesting. I want to see what he does with the clips we've been given over the past weekend with this whole Rock versus uh, Roman Reigns situation. It's It's been, been crazy. So looking forward to this. This should be a very good one. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Let's get right into this one, man. Y'all didn't hear none of that. It was muted. My bad. <laughs> Brandon Thurston from WrestleNomics. Yes. Uh, did you read the lawsuit that came out this week? And if you did, what was your reaction to it? I did not. I did not. Um, That's funny. <laughs> I'm back. Bro, he, he put the, the Tony Khan uh, situation where Tony Khan had that ridiculous... I mean, truly ridiculous as a uh, little hat on and the whole Chris Jericho allegations. That was funny. That was funny. I, I saw the comparisons they were giving Triple H. Wow. And uh, oh, yeah, this is the whole Vince McMahon being, uh, you know, pretty much booted out of WWE, but they coined it as a resignation. I prayed for this and it happened. Yep. <laughs> well, allow me to give you the full road to WrestleMania CM Punk oh, experience. No. See, Cody Rhodes, you have carried this company oh, on no. your back for a soul crushing two years. And you're right around the corner and they hand you oh. the cover of the WWE 2K <laughs> video game. Congratulations, by the way. It's on sale oh, pretty soon, no. I'm sure. <laughs> and right when you're about to cross the finish line and finish your story. Oh, wait. What's that in the distance? It's a much better bigger superstar that hasn't been around in a very long time <laughs> oh coming to take it all away from you and what's crazy is that's exactly what's looking like it's happening oh my punk was right <laughs> i've seen this this whole punk was right he saw what was gonna happen he thought it was gonna be him nope it's gonna be the fucking rock <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> this is this is a business filled with, you know, prideful men and, and egos and big scary dudes who will fight at the drop of a hat. <laughs> a very credentialed Japanese legend, 2018 Wrestling Observer, Hall of Fame. He's faced MMA legends like Mirko Kroko, Fabio Emilianenko early in his career. Unlike Brian, the closest that Brian's ever done to a being an MMA fighter is getting his hair braided. <laughs> or even Dwayne, as electric as it was, rhyming and raising. Was it really better than what Punk said sitting on that stage? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do about it? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tweet my displeasure. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna jump on social media. I'm gonna tweet about it until my fingers bleed. I might even send an Instagram or a Vine. <laughs> That's right. And on that tweet, in that tweet, and however many characters I get, I am going to threaten. That's right. If I don't get what I want, I'm going to riot. And, and if that doesn't work, then by God, me and my friend Mark, we're going to stop watching. <laughs> it's funny <laughs> because... That's exactly what people did. Now, some of y'all are taking it way too far, wishing death 
threats on well not not wishing death threats but sending death threats to the rock's daughter ava uh wishing harm and death on roman reigns and the rock uh wishing harm and death on triple h you know that's not cool that's lame but at the same time i also understand people have the right to voice their frustrations it just shouldn't get toxic and uh right now people are still frustrated so I don't know. We'll, we'll see how long this trend lasts. Maybe this does last all the way to WrestleMania. We will see. But that was funny. <laughs> I love that segment from Triple H because it does ring some truth. <laughs> this is an amazing week <laughs> for us. And at this point. Is for us. Yep. Yeah, we definitely caught that. Us. Yep. <laughs> you look like you've got something to say. Do you? Yes, I certainly do. I have to go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> what? <laughs> to be in New Orleans. Why? They gave me a lovely pair of beads when I got here and they were not for my neck. But nonetheless, very lovely. What a, what a night we've had. I mean, from our opening contest tonight, John Moxley. Did she just say what I think she just said? They gave us some beads, but they're not, they weren't for her neck? Huh. I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to let y'all fill in the blanks there. What beat she's referring to. I'm not going to say it. I know. But I'm going to let y'all deviants have at it. Have at it. To get the big win over Jeff Harvey. Who? Ah, oh, yes, our beloved Jeff Harvey. You're not Sean Mooney. You're Mike Adamley. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else has pissed in my seat. Someone's pissed in my seat. Is this how it works here? Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Oh. A slap right in the titties. Straight out of my playbook. What? Let's just skip ahead 10 seconds. Oh, no. Let's break down this frame. Glass is used in pro wrestling all the time. It's either pro wrestling or it's garbage wrestling. Bro, that's I'm I'm not not going there with that reference. Nope. Oh man. Yeah, there were some botches in the women's uh, Royal Rumble. Is that a botch? Ooh. Is that a botch? Uh, yeah, she just threw her. <laughs> wow. They couldn't change the clip. <laughs> you gotta flow, Joe. You gotta flow, Joe. You gotta, 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 gotta let him know, Joe. Oh, it's true. It's damn That's true. Tough. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm loving people are giving Samoa Joe the recognition he deserves. We're going to get into the next one right here. He just uh, dropped this one. As of today of me filming this one, I was really only just going to check out the uh, the other promo Joey video. But, uh, yeah, I had to check this one out. We're going to combine them together. Rocky sucks. We want Cody. Let's get right into this one, man. The last month, I've seen a lot of memes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. Wow. Did you read the lawsuit that came out this week? And if you did, what was your reaction to it? I was elected to lead, not to read. <laughs> Not the hook, <laughs> the spotlight. Oh, yeah. I, I like what he had the little WWF attitude kind of um, font on his uh, jacket LA night. The word that niggas want to hurt you is in the air. Double shot of yak and the purple is in the air. Yeah. And I'm not cocky, I'm confident. So when, when you, you tell me I'm the best, it's a compliment. We, 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 we are about to take it back, back, back. On the tape. And there's the confidence. There's the cockiness of the champion. <laughs> well, he's not cocky. He's yeah, confident. confident. So when so you, you say he's the best, the best, it's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> this is why, Pat. We love you, Pat. We love you, Pat. This is why. <laughs> love you, Pat. <laughs> yeah, I hate to be the one to let these two know, but only one of you can go to WrestleMania if you win this match. Never been two winners? We've never had two winners, but we did go to overtime one year with Batista and John Cena in the Royal Rumble match. So that was a fucking, fucking lie. lie. Yeah. They definitely had one before. This Chris Benoit was my hero. <laughs> oh my God. I did rec uh, recognize when he, uh, <laughs> he started doing that. Doing that, and somebody in the chat while we was doing a live stream, I was like, "What, Chris Benoit? What?" It's almost perfectly spelled out in this story. The never-ending. I story. need to finish the story. Mm -mm. In the WWE, the story never finishes. Mm. Not the rubber chicken. Oh man. His opponents are in the ring. Truth Floyd and Turbo. Turbo Floyd and Keith Magma, the Outrunners. Tasha is in love with the Outrunners. She can't get a word out. From Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 277 pounds, Mr. Wardlow. Mr. Mayhem, Wardlow. We're in. She was having a tough time out there. Yep, I saw that botch. Oh. Yep. Jesus. What? Oh. Maxine should not be out there. Yep. Bro, he was moving so fast. I saw this clip on Twitter. He was moving so fast that his head kind of slipped through the ropes. But, you know, that could be very dangerous because those ropes are very, you know, uh, like the the strength on how, you know, hard they're, like, how hard they're stretched out there. You know, it doesn't really give too much, you know, give. So that's why wrestlers are even able to walk the tight ropes because they're so tight. So you can get a concussion from that or a serious a head and neck injury running at that at full speed. Good night, Tribal Chief. Good night, Dwayne the Cockblock Johnson. <laughs> Whoa! Good night, Cody Rhodes. Why was fucking? Why was Vince in there, bro? Why was Vince in there? <laughs> Shout out to Ace of Steel, man. My man's videos have been getting so much traction. For those who don't know, he did like a road to WrestleMania with me and Dub. Um, so shout out to him. His videos are going crazy right now on social media, and I love to see it. He deserves it, bro. Keep doing your thing, Ace of Steel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Jose. <laughs> This is heartbreaking, dog. Oh. Cody, I know this is hard. Dwayne is trying to help. To hell with him! Did you do it? Chicken. Is that CM Punk? Is that Drew back there? times you get knocked down it's how many times you get up and you up. you get up you get up and fight and you're gonna fight sunday you're gonna sign this contract wow. <laughs> all, all these people you're gonna sign this contract and you're gonna fight roman reigns <laughs> i like this <laughs> <laughs> For your father. <laughs> Dad, come on! What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. This is actually entertaining, bro. This video is always, always usually entertaining. Got a flow, Joe. That was tough, you man. Flow, Joe. You gotta, 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 gotta let him know, Joe. That was awesome, bro. Ace of Steel is awesome. Shout out to uh, Promo Joey for actually uh, putting that in there, man. That was great. That was fantastic. Hey, man. I hope that's the case. I hope for the uh, press conference, WrestleMania press conference, he goes out there and says, you know what? I'm going to insert myself in this match or whatever. It hasn't been announced officially, but something, man, something where Cody's like, yeah, I got to be a part of this this year or something. I don't know how they're going to do it. They've kind of written themselves in a, a weird situation. He has to find a way to explain himself why what's happening with the rock what's you know what they're gonna do with the rock and he also has to be able to you know find a way i mean he doesn't have to find a way he fucking won the royal rumble he should be able to still choose who he wants to fight at wrestlemania despite the rock being involved or whatever the case may be so we'll see how things play out but uh yeah man this was a very good video by promo joey aka promo joe Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of this video. Appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Road to 150K. Now I'm still here on Speed the YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all next one. Peace.